two kids saved from a car just moments before the driver took his own life. Kissimmee police say the young kids were unharmed after their father shot himself during a traffic stop. We first broke this story last night at 11 o'clock. News 6's Troy Campbell is live from where this all happened. And Troy, you talked with a man who witnessed the entire thing. And Matt, the teen says he was just across the street here when he actually saw Kissimmee officers pulling Valentine over. He says the situation, it quickly escalated because he saw a heavy law enforcement presence quickly rush to this area. I was like scared for a second because I didn't want to get shot. That's the only thing that went through my mind. Mario Anguiano says he was riding a skateboard near John Young Parkway and Martin Luther King Boulevard in Kissimmee at about 630 yesterday evening when he noticed the commotion in the parking lot across from him. I see a gray SUV parked right here and I see that the officer's pointing at him. I didn't know what's going on. And Guiano says that's when he saw even more officers surround the SUV while the seven and eight year old children were inside. 20 cops coming and I look across and I see the, the officer pointing the gun out. Kissimmee police say 48 year old Lewis Valentine was wanted on a child pornography warrant when officers pulled him over last night. Investigators saying Valentine was armed and began to point his gun at himself. Officers sweeping in and bringing the young children to safety. Police saying Valentine then fatally shot himself. And Guiano says he's thankful no one else was harmed. They're putting on their bulletproof vest, getting it like themselves safe, just in case the dude has a gun. And Kissimmee police also say just because the suspect in their child pornography case is dead, it doesn't mean their investigation is over, saying they're continuing to look into those allegations. Today, we also spoke to Valentine's daughter, who says her father was innocent at the time of his death. Live in Kissimmee tonight, Troy Campbell getting results, News 6.